last time on Telltale's Game of Thrones. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But perhaps I can give him justice. This is the new lord. Find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Okay, this is an interesting change in perspective it's here. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gerard to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gerard. He mm. was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. <laughs> it was fun. Gerard's smart, don't worry about He'll him. He'll be fine. Gerard is smart. No one will tell me what Gerard did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Everyone. Well, Sir Royland, for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. Yeah, let's think about that. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. It's Ethan, a good question, you actually. Let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick. Asha, we'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I, I won't promise, change. I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. There's going to come a time where we're going to have to make a difficult choice, but and it's going to come back to this. Lord, 
You can do anything you want. I suppose. They're like Everyone the angel and the devil on our say. shoulder right now. So I could have all the sweets I want. <laughs> if only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. Not quite how lord. it works. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Great, this is gonna go well. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. I'd rather stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. He's right. It's okay. You should go. Fine. Let's be done with it. It's interesting because I kind of had a feeling that she might push us to go after we wanted to stay. Because we just made her a promise we're not going to change, and all of a sudden we're like, no, forget my family, I'm going to go. Even though we know we're going to have to go and deal with this situation. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you wished to stay. If you wish to stay Lord of this house, then show him the same defiance. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle it. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Let's try to navigate this conversational minefield that's about to occur. Be smart. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Oh, yeah. I can feel the emotion right there. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. But to his family, it's still a loss. Let's be cordial. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart. Oh, myself. shit. Okay. I see. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! Well, that's how you talk to a lord, you forest. When you're being a giant shit dick. on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Yeah, I don't like this guy. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. You Maybe will if be. Had been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, this guy. Okay. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. 
when your man attacked us for no reason. Bullshit. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. I can and give a shit what, he's done. what you feel. He's I'm getting me pretty pissed off here, actually. My justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean, no disrespect to you, my lady. Oh, yeah. Considering your losses and all. What a prick. This... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Go for it. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. He's gonna remember a lot of the shit we said. It's probably gonna be a, an issue. I hate them already. Known them for about ten minutes. I was Hatred. wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Here we go. Bend a knee, I imagine it's like to take a knee to be like inducted into lordship. Us. I'm not exactly sure. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. Okay. If it's presented to her as it should be. So political. I imagine all of these stories are going to converge at some point for something messy. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Ethan made this for me. Hmm. Pretty talented. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. That's where he was exiled to, I believe. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. 
hope to see them all someday. She's got all these mementos from different family members. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Lady Marjorie is the key. Who is it? Yep, coming. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Tell me what's going on. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'll be honest, I'm a bit worried. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, not from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Hmm. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. What is he putting in there exactly? You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. That's good to know. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Oh. Cersei? Really? That's probably not good. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. Yeah, House Forrester. And? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. Wow. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Really captured her. Come, there's something we must discuss. Here we go, down the rabbit hole. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Oh, great. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern Girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Come on. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. 
I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so well, near. I understand. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. If she asks me if I'm a traitor, she's going to want to hear a yes, but I can't do that. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. 